everyone welcome back to our channel today you guys today is the day today is a very special day Whew, i'm gonna try and not cry right now <laughs> it's been an emotional waterworks over here yesterday been. and today many of you guys are following us following along with our infertility journey and today you guys we are here in utah at the utah fertility center you guys we came all the way from florida to come here obviously we're here for the holidays as well but it just so happened they had an opening mm -hmm. while we were here and we have decided to come to this clinic you guys yep. to hopefully start our family and we're excited we're nervous but we're excited yeah there's a lot of emotions going right now mm -hmm. it's kind of like surreal i feel like it's been so long to get to this point we're here mm -hmm. we know we're hopefully going to get answers today yeah today the day. that's like pretty awesome you mm -hmm. guys if you're new to our journey we have a whole infertility journey playlist you can yeah. go kind of see our story we feel really at peace though right now mm -hmm. going in here last night i did not you guys i was just like <laughs> waterworks everywhere yeah me too it was tough it's a very emotional experience and but now we're going to get answers and it's going to be the stepping stones of moving forward yes you guys this is a clinic we have heard amazing things mm -hmm. as amazing reviews say a little prayer for us yeah this we're is really excited this is a big step in our journey this is, yeah i think this is the biggest thing we've done up until this point so. oh by far of everything that we've done this is by far the biggest thing and we're just about to walk into those doors right now the pills, you guys i'm like <laughs> shaking nervous feel like i'm yeah. gonna cry happy excited <laughs> yeah. like a solid rock right now like <laughs> i had my moment but i'm good now yeah this week, but we're excited yeah. so let's head on it Bad news. It was really bad, actually. So it's uh, yeah, it's 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 hard to hear. I think we're still trying. I mean, this was I can't even talk right now. <laughs> <laughs> this I think it's just a lot to like take in, comprehend. I think we're gonna just kind of press pause on this. Let us kind of process everything, get our bearings, um, and then share more when we're ready to. Yeah. a little while since that first fertility appointment yeah. and we've had some time to process things and um, you know we didn't know if we were going to share when we were going to share but you guys are such an important part of our lives and you know we share our life with you every single day and it's hard to hide any of this and not that we do want to hide of it but this is a very personal part of our life and so we just took some time over the holidays to just process everything and we now feel ready to share kind of what's going on even though it's very very difficult to um and this christmas has been extremely hard i know we tried to put out fun videos for all of you and we didn't really want to deal with a lot of it during just christmas but i think it's safe to say Definitely was one of the hardest Christmases of yeah. our life. I don't think Jared or I have cried more in our entire life either. Yeah. No, I, I definitely have not cried more than this other than when my dad passed last year. And the thing is, is that we've just kind of go through cycles of having hope and then not and then having hope again. And anyway, I, I think uh, it's just it's just difficult to deal with. And I hope that we can help anyone out there that's experiencing or going through this as well and if you're not but you do know someone who is please share this video with them so it so it can help them because i know for us like knowing that others are going through this it's it's big it's huge it's very helpful yeah i mean we've watched so many videos you guys have shared so many of your stories with us through this whole journey over the past few years and we feel really grateful for that so we do want to share what's going on to like Jared said to hopefully help yeah. others and 
we know you guys are so supportive so sweet we did a community post just letting you guys know we just needed some time just for ourselves to kind of just mentally you know fill everything going on right now so we feel like we're in a good spot today to kind of open up and share what happened at that first appointment so um, if you happen to not know really our story, we have a whole infertility playlist, but basically we were out here in Utah. We live in Florida right now, but we came out to Utah to go to the Utah Fertility Center, which is one of the best ranked fertility centers here in the country, and we feel super grateful we were able to go there and get seen. So at that appointment, I think we both kind of had certain expectations going into it. This whole process, um, we've always thought it was something with me. I've always had really irregular cycles and I've done Clomid and we've measured my levels and my progesterone's always been really low. So I think we always just thought- and we had that one positive pregnancy test. Yeah, so we always just thought it was kind of me and a timing issue. And that's always kind of what my gut, I think both of us yeah. felt. Yeah, you were certain that was the case. Yeah, and uh, we had tested me and it came back inconclusive, which made us nervous, which is why we wanted to get myself tested again while I'm out here. Yeah, we actually did an at-home test with that and the results, it was through LabCorp and as Jared said, they came back inconclusive. So that started to make us pretty nervous, um, but I don't think anything prepared us for what we were told in that appointment. Um, so basically, we found out that Jared has something called azospermia, which is very rare. It, I think it affects 1% of men. Um, Basically, it means that my body produces little to no sperm. Yeah, so it came back with a zero reading on his test. And basically, the doctor told us our only chance at having a family, a biological family, Kid of our own would be through IVF, which, which is obviously devastating for us. It was, it was heartbreaking at the time. We did not want to hear that. I think we were just kind of in shock. I mean, we knew, you know, something obviously was wrong with everything, but I didn't think we would jump straight to IVF. And when he told us that was our only possible route, I think we were just both really in shock. But the thing is, it's not just IVF. Um, that part of it, it's just the percentages with what Jared has makes it extremely difficult for IVF to be successful. It makes it extremely rare. Very rare. <laughs> and uh, so just to take that in in that appointment was really hard to take in. And it's yeah, just difficult, it you just guys. It kind of crushed I us, I think. Yeah. Because you guys know, if you've been following our channel, we just want a family more than anything. And I'm going to say this right now. We totally understand there's other ways to have a family. Because I know a lot of you guys yeah. have been through similar things. And you've started beautiful families through adoption or donor or other ways. And we're totally open to that. But I think like anyone, you want to try... Yeah. everything you can to see if you can start a family you know and have biological kids of your own first yeah. just to explore that and to now know that that is going to be very difficult for us has been really heartbreaking and hard to yeah. just kind of take in and think so through when i got home after first learning about it i just burst into tears to my mom i was so sad so heartbroken and she immediately called my brothers over. They dropped everything and came over and gave me a blessing and to of comfort to feel better. And and it's just it's just been so difficult. Like this is the last thing we ever expected nor wanted. Yeah, yeah. And we're grateful for this little guy. Grateful. He seems to know when we he need the help. No, I know it's been really sweet. And same with our families. You guys, we feel really lucky to have such supportive amazing families who have helped yeah. us through this this past week we do have faith and hope that things will work out however they're supposed to 
We know God has a plan for us, whoever that might be, to getting our family. But it's just difficult. It's very, very difficult. And as you guys can imagine, this is very personal to us, extremely personal. So we do ask for you guys' love, support, and respect in return because this is incredibly hard for us to go through. Yeah, yeah. Um, so there is a second part to all of this. Um, so with azospermia, the doctor basically explained there's two types. There's a type called obstructed and unobstructed. And basically, obstructive means there's like a blockage somewhere within Jared that's not letting the sperm get to where it needs to go. And he said with that, you know, there's better chances that they can go in and extract any sperm that's in there to use for IVF. So that is what we were hoping um, the outcome would be. The other type is unobstructed, meaning it's like a production issue. Yeah. And he referred us to a urologist, a specialist actually here in Utah of male fertility, um, and said we would need to go to him. We did quite a bit of blood work, some genetic testing for both Jared and I. And through those tests, they will be able to tell us what type Jared has. Mm -hmm. And we feel incredibly lucky and blessed. We were kind of just trying to think, okay, what are some of the positives from this hard, hard news? And if you guys remember, we were supposed to go to a specialist out in Florida mm -hmm. uh, for this, but we just it just didn't quite feel right. Things didn't fall into place right with insurance and other things. So that's why we decided to come out here to Utah. They had that opening right, you know, why we were gonna be here. It all yeah. kind of just fell into place. And then as he told us about the specialist that we're gonna have to go see, he said, you know what, this guy's amazing. He's one of the only ones in the country that specializes in this. And we just knew we would be in the best hands possible. So, um, yeah. So we called them and explained our situation. And they were really booked up, but for whatever reason, they said, you know what, come in and we would love to meet with you guys and try and get to the bottom of it. We filmed some from that appointment, so I think we're gonna press pause on this video. We will put that video out coming out here soon. Um, just that kind of explains everything that went on that appointment. But we just want you guys to know that we love you all so very much, your support you've given us, and it's been extremely difficult extremely difficult I, I i compare this with truly losing my dad like that's how difficult this has been it's so heartbreaking so devastating but we will continue to have hope and see what happens next we know so many of you are praying for us so many of you guys are rooting for us and just the love and the support we fill up from you so thank you Thank you, we hate sharing this hard news because we know how hopeful so many of you guys are for us. But it's not, the hope's not gone. It's not gone, we have faith, we have hope. We will give you our next update soon. We love you guys. Love you guys. Bye.